Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy my video today, please subscribe. And if you click on the bell next to the subscribe button, you will be notified each time I post a new video. This is the double page layout that I'll be creating today. To make this layout, I'm going to use these photos. These are photos taken at her performance at Theatre Bugs, which is a school holiday activity that she does each school holidays. I'm going to use the program in a pocket. So I've cut my two pages. This is for an 8x8 album and I've cut a pocket to be stuck on there. The pocket will hold the program as I said. And then I'm thinking that I will place the photos similar to this. But as the video progresses or as the layout progresses, I change my mind about the layout of the photos. You'll see that change as the video goes on. I'm going to attach the pocket now so that I can treat it as part of the background and it won't stand out as a pocket it will just blend into the background. Here I'm attaching the tape to the pocket. The po tape's already attached and I'm, I'm going to also use some wet glue just as a bit of extra security because it does have to hold that program in place and plus it gives me a bit of movement when I attach the pocket to the background with the wet glue on there it allows me to move it around slightly so it doesn't stick straight away and uh, make sure I've got it nice and straight. I'm just putting the glue over the top of the tape because I don't want to make the pocket any smaller I'm going to put it about an inch up from the bottom and try and make sure that it's nice and straight. So that's the pocket attached. The program will fit in there nicely and the Theatre Bugs title on it will become part of my title. I'm going to apply some clear gesso to this page because I plan on using some mixed media in the background. I'm using this uh, Matisse transparent gesso. I have used it before and I find it quite good. It will stop my paper from warping too much when I use media on the background. I'm going to run my palette knife behind this pocket so that the gesso doesn't seal the opening up. I decided that I'm going to use this 13 Arts mixed media stencil. It's got a circular outlines on it, I suppose you'd call them. And my theme for this layout is going to be circles, so I thought that was appropriate. And I'm going to um, use my Color Blast color pastes on through the stencil in these colors here because I'm using the Kayser Craft Party paper pack that I've got and these colors go with it. There's not much yellow in the paper but I wanted to bring a bit of yellow in because there are a few other yellow aspects to it so I'm going to put a bit of this Colour paste through this stencil just randomly here and there. 
because actually on this page there's going to be three photos so you won't actually see a lot of the background here so I'm just going to swipe this through as I said just randomly because I've got three colours that I want to put on each page I'm probably not going to want a lot of each colour Now that the paste is dry, I'm going to start work on the layout. I'm going to work out roughly where the photos are going to go. And then start work with the pattern paper. I'm using Kayser Craft Party Collection on this layout. I bought the paper pad and I'm using the pad throughout the whole album. I create an album each year to showcase Charlie's year, different things that she's done. I decided to tear this paper for a bit of interest. And this piece as well. I had previously cut a collection of circles using my Spellbinder circle dies. I bought the two sets of nesting dies and um, they give me a complete range of circle sizes. I wanted to have a sort of like a cascade of circles coming down the side of the layout. Um, it takes a while to get these circles positioned how I want them and once I've got the page set up as I want I'll go off camera and stick it down. Okay, so I've stuck the pattern papers down and when I was playing around trying to decide on the placement for the circles, I felt that it was too overcrowded. So I have changed my mind about what's happening with this layout. The program will still go in there, but the I'm going to change the photos. So the fo this photo is going to go there. This photo is going to go here and these two smaller photos will go up here and there will be no circles at all. I'm going to have a look and see if I've got something to mat my photos on. I was thinking maybe some tissue paper. But I have, I'd like to have something in a blue line, so I'm going to go and check that out and see if I have any. I'll be back when I've had a look. So I found this blue tissue paper and I've cut one piece to mat a photo. I cut the three sides and then I just tore along the bottom and I am going to use that to mat that on because I think that that looks better than that and you might notice that I have actually filed around the photo to give it a bit of a white border to stand out against the blue so that's my plan I'm going to go and cut the tissue paper to mat the other three photos stick the photos onto the mat and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that I've got those matted, I'm going to stick them onto the layout. I'm going to use 
double sided tape and some glue because the gesso on the background and the texture paste uh, sort of keeps the makes it hard for things to stick to it so I'm using glue and and tape just to be on the safe side so I'm going to stick these in place Now I'll stick down the photos on the other page. So that has got photos stuck down, the pattern paper in place, the texture paste in the background and the pocket made for the program. Now I need to decide what other embellishments I want to put on this layout and work on a title. I'm going to make a couple of embellishments using some of the circles that I'd previously cut out. I'm going to ink around the edges of the circles and then use some foam tape to mount one on top of the other so that they've got a slight border around each one. Then I'm going to work out where I want to place them. I'm going to stick them onto the layout using both double sided tape and glue for a bit of extra grab on that uh, gessoed and texture pasted background. This one here I can't quite decide where I'm going to place it. So I mess around a bit here trying to decide okay. where best to put it. Well, decision made, it's down. Okay, now with the busy background all those photos I think in my for my taste that's got enough embellishments on it so now all I'm going to do is a title so I'm going to work out what I want for a title and I'll be right back so for the title I decided to use this cutting die set that I've got I bought many many years ago it's the Sizzlet Cherish alphabet uppercase alpha it's got lowercase in there as well and I decided to cut that out of this paper here there is a bit of that on the layout but not very much so this will be my third element in this particular paper I've attached my title using my fine line glue dispenser now putting the program back in which completes the title of course the title being the 24th of April Theatre Bugs. The program has all the information relating to the event so I think that covers everything that needs to be said for this page. I have decided to do a border around the edge of the pages with this fine line marker. It is grey in colour because I thought that black would be too severe and I've decided to go around the page twice. I have done one page, this is the last page to be done. It's just a scribbly border, nothing too straight or nothing to worry about, easy to do. And I've gone around it twice because I think it needs that extra bit of weight.
okay so that's the page happy with that I'm going to call that done you'll notice in the close-ups that I had a change of heart and I stitched around the layout and each photo I hope you enjoyed my video today don't forget to subscribe so you can see my new videos as they become available I would love it if you would share my videos with your friends. I love reading your comments too, so please don't forget to leave one for me.